What is up, Bills Mafia? I'm back real quickly to just say, hey, I'm still alive. I'm still here. Barely, but I'm here. I'm just like you guys, just kind of numb after that season that ended last Sunday against the Bengals, who just lost to the Chiefs tonight. So it'll be the Chiefs and the Eagles in Super Bowl 57. Not the Bills. Not the Bills. I feel like I owe it to all you guys, because it's been a week since I've been on, to just let you know what's going on. Because a lot of you, many of you, supported my channel, and I hope you will still stick with me as I decide what to do moving forward. You know, the whole 2022-23 season was all about... Counting down the days until the Buffalo Bills won Super Bowl 57. Well, it one blew up in my face. And I feel like I needed to apologize to all of you guys because I was leading the charge with enthusiasm and feeling as if that if we just put enough of our collective energy into the team, somehow, some way, we would push them over the top. Now, this channel marches on. I'm not going to be putting out a video every single day, that's for sure. But I think I'll probably be popping on every week, one day a week, until we start really picking up steam for the next season. Quickly, I'll just go over what I think led to our demise this season. And I think we all are aware of what the factors involved were none of the least of which were injuries. I think some poor decisions on the offensive side of the ball, specifically personnel. You know, the Bills took some shots that didn't pan out. Jamison Crowder bringing in, what, having Isaiah McKenzie play the slot. They just missed a lot on what I think, to me, was an obvious some obvious choices that they needed to make. Not, the first of which was to re-sign Cole Beasley because he and Josh Allen just had the chemistry required to keep drives going. But anyway, without getting bogged down in all the details, the Bills just ran out of steam. And I'll be honest with you, one thing that has been kind of swimming around in my brain again, and it probably has with you too, is it feels like this team is cursed. When DeMar Hamlin almost died on the field in what was the biggest game of the year for Buffalo, where I think we could have beaten the Bengals that night. I know that is very debatable, especially the way that game started out. But the Bills moved the ball on the Bengals that night. And if we had won that game, we would have had the number one seed. And who knows what could have happened. But of course, one of our guys has to have a heart attack. On the field, how many teams in the NFL have lost guys or almost lost guys to death on a field in the, the biggest game of the season? So that with the injuries and actual death to family members of our players and an owner who had a very bad health scare. I don't know what's going on with Kim Pagula and the blizzards and the moving around of games to to facilitate the problems with blizzards and snow and blizzards and everything. It, it just, to me, was like the curse said, yo, I'm going to show you how powerful I am. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, no, I, I don't buy into that. But a lot of us do. And I'm not really kidding. It feels like this team was absolutely cursed this season. Were they good enough to win the Super Bowl? Again, debatable. I think they made some poor choices along the way. And that game in Buffalo, the divisional playoff game against the Bengals, was just like, I, I don't know what happened there. And, you know, you want to talk about curses and, I, and ironies of ironies, the, the weather that moved in during that game, I think, actually helped the Bengals. So there we are. Unable, I think, to take advantage of their ailing offensive line. Couldn't get a pass rush, and it just collapsed. 
it collapsed. And I think overall, everything just came to a head and the Bills couldn't overcome it. The Bills couldn't overcome it. But I'll tell you what, I wasn't really that upset. Certainly not like I was when they blew the 13-second lead. Although that really now pisses me off because the Bills could have and should have won the Super Bowl last year. But we aren't going to cancel our team, right? We're going to kind of lick our wounds again, as Buffalo fans do, and then get ready for the season coming up in 2023. Count down the days to that. I'm not putting out a video every day. That is for sure. But I want to keep this going. And a lot of you know that I had the project going to get this bar ready for my Buffalo Bills Super Bowl Super Bowl party, which isn't going to happen. But the bar work continues. I'll give you a quick little tour of what I've got done so far. It's not that impressive, but it's coming along. And I owe a lot of you guys some recognition. So, you know, I have sold the little bricks that I have in the back behind me. And that's going to continue. And then we're going to pick up steam again. And we're going to rock and roll into 2023. I'm not guaranteeing any Super Bowl, that's for sure. In fact, I might do a 180 and just have a channel that has the mantra, embrace the curse. <laughs> just don't have any expectations. I think that's the best way to go about being a Bills fan. Just have no expectations whatsoever other than complete failure. And then maybe the universe will surprise us. Here's the bar. I've got this cool little brick going up in the back. And again, I'm going to have I'm gonna have names on there. You know, some of you have bought bricks, so your names will go up here. And obviously a nice little big TV is going to go up there. It's going to look real nice. Bob, my guy, you've probably seen the videos. Bob is, this is what the bar top is going to eventually look like. Going to sand this down and stain it. That'll look pretty sweet. Cut a bunch of stuff out. Chop this bar down a little bit. Not very impressive right now. I, I know. I know. You're like, oh, well, that's just like nothing. But paint going up on the wall. And, of course, going to make this a, a Bills-themed bar. And you're going to be part of it. And I know you guys are probably like, I ain't interested in an old Bills nothing right now. I just want to get on with my life. And I am like that too. But like I said, we are going to be back again, rocking and rolling, looking forward to the 2023 season. Be a much different football team, that is for sure. And we'll talk more about like what the Bills might look like when they you know, hit training camp in, I don't know, seven months. I might hang out with you guys a little bit during the Super Bowl. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not gone. I'm not gone. I'm going to come back bigger, better, and stronger than ever before. Just with kind of like a new outlook on life. Got to figure out what that outlook is. So for now, enjoy your week coming up. And I will see you next weekend. Go Bills!